President Trump managed to go after Biden for the dumbest of reasons. Here's a Fox segment on it. President Trump calling the proposal regressive and unscientific, but public opinion appears to be with Biden. A new Fox News poll showing more than 70% of Americans support a requirement to wear a mask outside the home. Jackie Heinrich is reporting live from Wilmington, Delaware for us this morning. Jackie, good morning. Good morning to you, Sandra. Good morning, Trace. Well, 16 states currently do not have statewide mask mandates, all of them run by Republican governors. And former Vice President Joe Biden was talking to them when he called on governors to enact a nationwide mask mandate. The estimates by the experts are it will save over 40,000 lives in the next three months. 40,000 lives. The people act responsibly. And uh, it's not about your rights, it's about your responsibilities as an American. White House reaction was swift. President Trump said Biden is politicizing the pandemic and defended his administration's approach of urging people to wear masks while focusing the work of the government on therapeutics and vaccines. But the president also suggested what Biden's asking is draconian big government. He wants the president of the United States with the mere stroke of a pen to order over 300 million American citizens to wear a mask for a minimum of three straight months. If the president has the unilateral power to order every single citizen to cover their face in nearly all instances, what other powers does he have? Remember, back in June, Biden suggested he would use executive power as president to mandate masks in public. But yesterday, he did not say his administration would enact a federal mandate for masks or call on the White House to enact one. He notably called on states to take the lead. Only Kamala Harris discussed what their administration would enact, talking about testing, tracing, and funding a vaccine. Now, the back and forth comes after a new Fox News poll shows a majority of voters in every party favor requiring masks, and more than half think the federal government failed to respond seriously enough to the pandemic. Trace, right. Sandra. Jackie Heinrich, thank you. I just, I find this incredible. Biden is a target-rich environment, and the thing that Trump leaned into there is he wants to do a, a nationwide mask mandate. I find that about as tyrannical as seatbelts which I don't really find to be very tyrannical. I view it as kind of like a basic regulation that would save tens of thousands of lives. Now, listen, there is a more complex conversation about the enforcement mechanism. How do you go about enforcing something like a universal mask mandate? And I think there are reasonable disagreements there. So, you know, one person might say, give people a ticket, fine them if they don't wear a mask. Somebody else might say, no, like, you're going to have to put, put them in a, a prison cell. Um, other people might say, don't even really necessarily enforce it. You're more just trying to create um, a cultural and societal trend where even if there's no official law enforcement over it, it's severely frowned upon when people don't do it. So there are different approaches that you can take in terms of how you try to implement it. Um, but I, the idea is by no stretch of the imagination, absurd, bad. And in fact, Biden, what Biden really was saying is um, he would want each state on their own to do a mask mandate, which is really funny enough, a, a conservative position. Like, he's, he doesn't want to do it at the federal level, nor does he know if he has the authority to, but he would incentivize them to do it at the state level. I don't know exactly how, but that's what he would want to do. Um, so, his, it's not... That's not a crazy position. That's not an absurd position. It would save tens of thousands of lives. I keep bringing up Japan as a really good success story, because what Japan did is um, they mandated that they, it, they basically have universal masks. I should be clear, I actually don't know how they got to that position, if it was just a cultural thing or if it was an actual law. But either way, they basically had universal masks. And they had about a thousand COVID deaths 
for a very long time, and they only did, like, limited economic shutdowns. Now, there's been an uptick recently, but there's been an uptick almost everywhere recently because things have slowly started to open up um, everywhere, but they still handled it relatively well, and the main difference is that pretty much everybody wears masks, so th it seems like a really important thing, and Trump is dealing with 170,000 deaths right now, millions and millions of cases, and he's just... He's looking to score some cheap political points by attacking Biden over this when really he should be thinking about it seriously himself. He should be, you know, maybe implementing it himself, leaning into it himself, because again, it would save tens of thousands of lives. So it's really, I'm just stunned at how his political instincts have really gone haywire. And... He loves attacking Biden as far left, which is preposterous, but then also now attacking him over stuff like, hey, maybe we should have a universal mask mandate. It's just, it's, it's tough to see. And even with that being the case, now with the new poll out, we might have a tighter race than we did previously. It looked like Biden was running away with it, but the most recent CNN poll has Biden only up by four points. So is that a trend? I don't know. We have to see. It could be an outlier poll or not. We have to wait and see, but um, it's really amazing how terrible both of these candidates are and the lines of attack that they use, because it's like watching a bunch of political novices go at it. I mean, this really, it's just pathetic, but this is one of those instances where I think Trump is totally misfiring, because even the polls show, people understand, it's a freaking pandemic, dude. Of course people would understand the idea of universal masks.